excuse the really harsh light we are in my dressing room which if you all have been watching my videos you know I had put a lot of work into it only to have to change some things what did I have to change It is now half of an art studio. All right, so what's the deal? First, excuse the lighting. I haven't opened my windows yet this morning to let the natural light in, so there's a lot of shadow. I apologize. Actually, first off, I wanna thank all of you who have stuck around for the last three weeks while I've been MIA. It wasn't anything that I had planned to do. My eyes are so poofy this morning, so poofy. When I started this channel, I, I really felt I had a clear direction. Like I knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do mostly DIYs and books and things of that nature. And then, you know, occasionally just whatever it is that I'm doing. It's gonna continue to be whatever it is I'm doing, hanging out with my girlfriends, you know, books will always be a huge part. Probably the DIYs, not so much. Maybe once in a while when I have inspiration to do that. But I'm getting way ahead of myself. So if you all watched the video where I talk about how art has been healing me, how it has been helping in my mental health struggles. I had always been artsy. I've always been a creative and I would paint from time to time um, throughout my life. But I would always end up just quitting. I think a lot of it had to do with I was so focused on realism. I wasn't allowing myself to enjoy abstract. And with realism, I wasn't formally taught. And so there was a lot of frustration within that. I wasn't happy with my art and I would end up just stopping. But something very beautiful happened for me over the last three months. You know, if you all have seen the videos, you know, I started out just playing around with abstract and I was really finding how it was going hand in hand so well with my therapy and um, just allowing me to express myself freely. And it really brought, is bringing a lot of healing to me. Well, then I moved from abstract into abstract realism which something it was something that really challenged me like I said because I'm not formally trained but I have been painting every day for three months now every day I'm excited to paint because every day I feel personal growth I see development and again it's just been so good for my mental health and Anyway, I said all that to say that I have been spending every single day painting. Get up in the morning, make the coffee, get the hubby off to work, get the housework done, and by 9.30 or 10, I'm in here painting, and I'll paint literally all day. And I've been averaging about a painting a day. I've been doing about four to five paintings a week because there are a couple of days 
um, that I know because of my schedule, I'm not gonna get an entire painting done, but all the other days I'm painting. Well, that caused me a little bit of a kerfluffle with regard to my channel because I felt like y'all didn't sign up for a painting channel. <laughs> you didn't sign up for an art channel. And I know I should have communicated with you better, but I kind of shut myself down because I felt like, well, what am I going to do? You know, what am I going to say? How am I going to explain it? People who didn't sign up for this type of thing are going to, are going to leave, you know, and I just kind of went, I kind of just went dark, you know, <laughs> just kind of went, not dark, like dark, but I just went kind of radio silence, you know what I'm saying? And I just, <sighs> I've been struggling for weeks with this. Ivy and Isa know this has been a real struggle for me because I have been filming things along the way because I have every intention of releasing a video every week. And then I, I just, I find myself kind of freaking out like, oh, they're going to hate this. And I'm just having a heart to heart with you. I could be completely wrong or I could be 100% correct. I guess we'll find out. I know I have some diehards out there and I appreciate you so much. Your support, your encouragement, sticking with me when you don't even know what's going on. I really appreciate you so much. And for those of you that are like, you know, Sheree, you're right. We're not here for that. That's okay. I understand but I just felt like I had to be honest and talk with y'all about a change in my channel I'm not changing the name and like I said there will always still be my girlfriends you know the fun stuff like the thrifting and the the book hauls and you know the uh, all of those kind of things but instead of all the DIYs, it's going to be probably more about art, my my paintings and my process or just what I'm doing. Because at the end of the day, and I've always said this, this channel is really about who I am and what I'm doing. I am an artist, that's who I am. And I've always shied away from that and felt it was kind of pretentious uh, to say that I am a bohemian. I mean, that's who I am that that is who I am at my core And I am an artist. I've always been artistic. I've always been creative on one hand It does make sense and in the fact that we do grow and we do change and we do end up taking different paths Sometimes from what we had intended to take and that's where I am right now So I said all that to say you're gonna be seeing a lot of art stuff and it's been really exciting for me. What I'm very excited to do right now is to also show you the progression because even I'm just really surprised by it and I'm really blessed by it. And I'm, I'm, I just, I thank God because I'm, I feel like I finally you know, I've been a, mass, a jack of all trades or Janet or whatever, <laughs> Jane of all trades, master of none for so many years. And I knew there had to be that one thing <laughs> that I could really throw my all into. 56 years old, I'll be 57 in November. For the first time in my life, I feel like it's clicked. Sorry, I'm getting a little emotional because I'm doing the art. I'm making, creating the paintings that I've always dreamed of doing. I'm growing and I'm learning. It's a process. I mean, I'm not, I'll never arrive. It's a process. But what I'm producing right now is making me very, very happy. And I can't wait to see what I produce in a month, in six months, in a year, in five years, in 10 years. I just wanted to share my heart with you. It was so sweet. You know, my girlfriends are always encouraging me, but in church on Sunday, 
this really sweet young girl, young lady. Um, I think she's like 18 maybe. And you know who you are. <laughs> she watches my videos. Anyway, she was behind me and she said, I love, I love your videos or something along those lines. And she was talking about the last one where Ivy and I went to the book, to the book hall or to the uh, library sale. I, I was taken aback by it. I, I was, it like caught me. I, I got embarrassed for a moment. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, it was, you know, but it was, it was very sweet and I was very encouraged and it, it blessed me. And I said, yeah, no, I ha I'm so sorry. I haven't, you know, posted a video in a while. I just don't know what to do. All I'm doing is painting. I just don't know. And she said, well, do one of you painting. I'm like, yeah, but that'll bore people. You know, we were just having this little conversation. I'm afraid it's going to bore people. I'm afraid people, you know, that's not what they signed up for. She said, well, I would watch it. And it just like something just clicked. And so thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate that. You may not have realized how much you encouraged me, but you really did encourage me. So I want to thank you for that. I've talked long enough. I can't, I've talked a lot. But anyway, I want to show you a few things just so you can have an idea of what I am talking about and what has transpired over the last three weeks while I've not been filming. I have been working and I've been working very, very hard and very, very diligently. Okay, so you all remember how I just started out doing basic, you know, I was just, I was working on abstracts and I was growing in that and y'all saw some of that progression, but I love animals, you know that. <laughs> and so I have been working on abstract realism with animals. So I'm going to show you a couple of them. All right. I apologize. The lighting is, is bad. So this one right here and done in acrylic finished in oils. This is my owl. This one is my very first horse and I'm very excited about him. He's so beautiful. I think he's beautiful. But this one, this one, well, I did a raven for someone and it turned out amazing. But anyway, this one I absolutely adore. And it is my wolf. So yeah, as you could see, I, I just think a visual will kind of help you understand where my head has been lately. I have really been working hard to grow and develop and to um, hone my craft. It's a lot of work. And I just was struggling between the distraction of trying to set up and film what I'm doing along with, like I said, are people even going to get it? Are they going to understand? I'll also show you a little bit of some progressions. I did some portraiture. Actually, I started with uh, female portraiture first, doing some abstract portraiture. I did some of my children, my, my granddaughter. I did one of my aunt, and then I've done some others. Um, and I've actually surprisingly sold <laughs> some paintings. It's kind of been a little bit of a whirlwind thing because I've only been painting for three months. I started painting every single day in April and it's made all the difference for me. So finished my daughter's key cat named Sammy. That was the photo that she uh, gave me for reference. It's a little challenging because of all the shadow, but I think I caught him. I still have some details I need to go in and work on, but overall, I think it captured him pretty well. And this blank canvas is for her other kitty. 
her birthday is coming up. So she specifically requested that I paint the kitties for her. So that is what I'm going to do. So I've been working on abstract portraiture this last week and I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> I move that out of the way. Uh, these are the first four that I've done. Well, I did one other one. I'll show that to you later, but this is our oldest daughter. This is our granddaughter. This is our youngest. And this is my aunt um, from one of her modeling photos when she was in her 20s. This is the other one. This is actually the very first abstract portraiture I did. And this is of our youngest. This one's a 16 by 20. And the ones that I just showed you um, are uh, nine by 12s. I can't believe I videoed with my hair looking like this. <laughs> anyway, I wanna thank all of you beautiful boho-ish souls who have stuck around and have been patient with me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Like I said, I have just been going through a transition and I know we all do, but you know, when you're bringing people along for the ride, you kind of want to know that they're enjoying the journey as well. It would be great to hear from you all because it has been a while. If you have been enjoying my content and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And if you do, don't forget to boop the bell. Also, likes and comments go a long way to helping this channel. Remember, it's not where you live, but how you choose to live. Thanks. Bye.